If you want the letter notes for that, you can go to letternoteplayer.com. We have them there for you. Let's start with, with the right hand, a D and a G. It's on the intro, D, G, and then G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, D and a G, G, G. Then when the vocals start, G, G, A, G, D, 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 A, G, A, G, 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 C, B, D, 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 A, G, A, G, 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 A, G, D, E, B, G, 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 A, G, C, G, 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 A, G, C, G, 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 A, G, A, G, and that last little thing is a cappella. So you don't have any bass. Now in the, in the left hand, we're going to have a G and a D together. So you got... Stays on that. Then when the vocal comes in, stays with the G and D. set on is a straight eight eight note or eight beat setting but then I have it at 90 beats per minute okay so we've got a, a straight and that's where I cue them right there and we're gonna start off with the left hand we're going only we'll be down here G and D G and D G C E G C E slowly so that you can you can see how it fits together G B A G G B A G B A G G C G G B B B G C B B A A A A A G A B A G G G B A G A A C B A B B C B A G G G Cut the drums off, so you end up with the uh, acapella G A A A G A A A B G G, and then you cue the drums back in. I'm not going to put the drums in right now because I want to go slowly with. Them.
kick those drums off. Now with the drums. drums in right there at the end of that little acapella uh, vocal and then you come in with the first verse. Now the first verse is B D D B D D B B B D D D D C C B D D B A A D D A D and then I just go A B A for those background notes G A B D D B D D B B G G A B D This pick up to the pre chorus D D G G G D D D G G G. So you gotta play that. You gotta play it so that the G is the end of this. And then those start the, a new note, a new word right there. So you got D D E G G G B A G B G G G C B B B B B G C B B. Right back into the chorus. Now the left hand, G D, G C E, back to G D. And I'm going to go ahead and put the drums back on because the chorus uh, will go in there and we'll cut the drums back off and I want you to see how that's done. Sustaining that A and the D and A down here, as you kind of repeat that last phrase of the chorus, then you cut the drums off, and then it's just they've got drums in the they've got drums and bass in the in the original song, but I just play it with a D and A. And then you can play as many as it feels right for you on there, and then you come right out of there. There's a split second of no noise at all, and then the bridge kicks in. Very similar to the opening, but you get a little some of this, and there's a B A F sharp. So it's just like the intro with a little bit of variation. Get to my th 
thumb on that B so I can get up that octave. So you're going to have to change your fingering on that. What I do is then I change to a thumb and then a cappella again by itself to end that bridge. Then there's a slight pause and you just come in with a tag chorus. No drums. tag you're going to a C chord and you're coming down to a B in the melody so B C G G B C C G G B B and then you're gonna hit a B in the right hand and a G in the left hand and you'll notice on that tag chorus I slow it down just just slightly just slightly slow down so that it makes it kind of final sounding so here's that ending ending of the tag Song by Rachel Platten. I hope you enjoy playing it.